Hello everyone, how you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rokis. How you all doing? In today's class, we'll be learning how to make a princess fitted dress with a little dripping at the waist area. And trust me, it's going to be beautiful. I'll be making use of this Ankara print fabric I have here. It's six yards of fabric. Then you will need a matching lining. I'm using black. You will need your wording to pad it up or your bra foam, a matching zipper. Then an interfacing. Here I'm using the lightest one. So when we get there, you know what I'm using it for. So now let's quickly draft the dress. I would have been, I would have drafted directly on the fabric, but because the fabric is busy and I want you to see everything, but everything I'm drafting, you can do everything directly on your fabric. Okay. It's been a long time I drafted directly on the on the um, fabric so i tried to do that but my fabric is not helping matter so now let's start drafting to get started the first thing you have to do is to cut a fabric and put on fold for the top then you will need the measurement from your nape to your waist mine i'll be using 19 and a half included with the seam allowance to join to the skirt we are adding all the seam allowance to everything we are doing the next thing will be half of the ham hole which is nine inches for then I'll go over to my bust point, which is 11 and a half, and then we under my bust measurement, which is 15 and a half, then the 19 and a half. The next thing you are going to do is the three inches, eight inches standard. I will advise you watch my video on how to draft a basic bodies. So first I'll measure three inches, mark a point, then eight inches, mark a point. So from that eight inches, you come down by one inch, which is here. Then you connect from the three inches to that point and let the line cut across. The next thing now will be to form the handhold line. How do you do that? Your shoulder measurement, mine is 17, divided by two will give me eight and half. So at this point now I measured eight and half inches and on the handhold line or the chest line, I measured eight and half, then connect in a straight line. Good, the next thing will be to form the handhold. First, my bust circumference is 46, divided by four, that will give me 11 and half. So mark a point. So this is the 11 and half. Then for my ham hole measurement, I'll come up by two and a half inches. So for the ham hole, all you have to do is to come up by two and a half inches from the ham hole line. At that point, come in by half an inch or three quarter of an inch, and then connect it up. So the ham hole is formed. So now we are going to insert our bust pan. That's the distance from one nipple to the other one. So mine is nine inches. When I divide nine into two, I'll have four and a half. So because we are cutting with seam allowance and all that, add extra half an inch to E to make it five on the bust point line. So this is five. Then I'll come to the waist measure five. Good. So at this point now, we are going to take in the darts. So on the half rate, you can take between half to three quarter inch. So now on the under bust, here, because I'm a plus size, I will just do three quarter inch on the middle part but someone bigger than me you can do up to one inch because we have a wider boss pan so here three quarter of an inch here then i come to the waist the same thing then on this other side i want the total that i will take to be two and quarter inch so for somebody bigger than me you can make it two and a half okay the total that so from this point i marked i will now measure two and quarter inches then the same thing here so for someone smaller than me you can do one and three quarter or two inches so now the dart has been taken off so this is going off 
So the next thing you want to do is to form the curve. So now we are done with the lower parts. The next thing now is to form the princess uh, curve here. So how do you do? Just measure the ham hole from here, from the shoulder tip to your bust measurement. So I'm going to do that. So here I have 10 and quarter. So I'm just going to get the midpoint. So you can just fold your tape. So at that point, add extra half or three quarter of an inch to that. So at that point, I'm going to connect straight to the bust point. To contour the handhold region, you can take between three quarter inch on both sides to one inch on both sides. So I'm just going to do one inch. So one inch here or just three quarter of an inch. So just depending on how much you want it. So let me just do one. So one here and then one here. So I'm now going to connect that to about one inch or three quarter before the bust point. So it has to accommodate the bust. Then this very one, I'm going to extend it all out. So good. After doing that, the next thing now is to blend these parts very well. So you could always trim that off. So that is done. So the next thing we are going to do now is this. After cutting all these darts, let me get something to do this. Good. After cutting all these darts, we want these parts to match because this is one part, this is one part. It has to match. And how do you go about that? Just take your measuring tape, measure whatever you have, at this point whereby they connected, measure it. Here I have six inches. Just rotate it to have the same thing here. So this is exactly where it stops. Can you see? So that's about one and half. So you could even add extra half an inch to it just to be on the safer side. So the next thing is for you to now redraw the ham hole, okay? So we have formed the new ham hole. So now, let us put the horizontal measurement. My boss, as I said, is 11 and a half after dividing it. So now, here we took a total of two inches for the dart. We are going to have to take it back, that's two. Then we need half an inch to sew these panels together. That's one, half an inch on both sides. Then you will need one inch for size seam allowance. That makes it four. So I'll be having four inches to 11 and a half, which will give me four inches plus 11 and a half. So that will give me 15 and a half. So that's what I have here. Now going to the waist, we took a total of two and quarter inch. So if you took two or where well, one and three quarter, you take that or two and a half. So I took two and quarter. So two and quarter aside, you can just write it down, two and quarter plus half an inch seam allowance to join it together. That is one. Then plus one inch size seam allowance, that's another one. So once you had it together, so this one, two, three, four and half. So I'm having four and half, uh, sorry, four and quarter 
four and quarter to quarter of my waist. My waist is 39 inches. So 39 divided by four will give me nine and three quarter. So I'm going to have the nine and three quarter to four and quarter. So that's going to give me a total of 14 and quarter, sorry, 14 inches. So I'm now going to mark 14 inches. So that is 14. Now, so we are just going to connect it. Then another thing is this. Remember I used 19 and a half and my back, the measurement from my neck to the waist at the back should be shorter. Because if it's not shorter, I'm going to have some fold at the back, which I would not. So what I'm going to do now is to reduce the back by one inch. You will understand as we go on. So from this waist, I'll come up by one inch. So one inch. So it is at that point now that I will put the 14 inches, which is here. So that means for the back, you just go up by one inch. Even for a more bustier person, you will do one and a half. So from this part, I'm going to connect straight to this dark leg. So you won't have your back coming down. So this is what you should have. So for the neck region now, it depends on um, your choice, whatever you want. So for me, for the width, I'm going to make it three and half. So this is three half and in, so I'll have a total of three and half, which is here. And then for the depth, I'm just going to make it four inches. Four inches. Then mark a straight line first before making a curve. So by the time we're taking quarter of an inch, you have something like three, three quarter for the weight, which is okay. So good. After doing that, the next thing is to make a V design at this shoulder tip. And how do you go about that? Just divide. Here we have a total of five. This is the new neck weight, five inches. I'm going to divide that into two to have two and a half. And at that point, I'm just going to go in by four and a half. So you can make it slanted however you want it to be. So here I have four and a half. So here. Now at this point, what you are going to do now is to go in. If you want it so open, you can do half an inch on both sides. Or you can just do quarter of an inch. So by the time you take in quarter, you have the wideness of one inch. But if you want it wider, just do half an inch. It depends on your preference then you connect to this point so this is the part we are cutting off so all this that i'm doing just do it directly to your fabric because we've had it all the same allowance and it will come out nice so this is going off okay should i mark that too so this also will be cut out so I've added the half an inch at the shoulder here. All of that has been added, so I'll cut it off. Then I want to remind you, this one inch we came up here at the side, here at the back, I've already eliminated it. So the back is 19 and a half as usual. Can you see one inch is half is now 18 and a half. So, so that they will have to match by the side. So the next thing is to cut. So I've cut it all out. So looking at it, let me see. So the that this is how I cut it out. And then this very one. So the top. The front part now is for the back. I have already explained the one inch that is going up so that the back doesn't come down too much. Okay, then the next thing is to draw out the ham hole, the same thing as the three inches, eight inches standard. Then you come down by one inch and then you make a straight line, then connect your ham hole, which is half of the shoulder measurement, eight and a half inches. Then connect down. Then for the back, after the two and a half inches, 
you don't go inside you just connect straight and then this is my bust measurement of 11 and a half inches okay plus one inside seam allowance here we are not taking in any that so it is just 11 and a half plus one inch size seam allowance which will make it 12 and half good the next thing we are going to do now is here you see at this back you need to take some inches off so that your zip will not bulge okay so here and then when you look at the back the back is not straight it goes inward before the bump comes out so here i'll be taking in half an inch if you are working with someone that is really that really has big bum you can do up to three quarter one inch trust me so here i just did half an inch and then i'm going to connect that to about two inches above the chest line so this will eliminate any bulge so this is going off then it doesn't affect the boss pan measurements okay doesn't affect so after that the next thing we are going to do is to insert the waist measurement my waist divided by four is nine and three quarter that's 39 nine and three quarter you can write it down nine and three quarter plus one inch for the darts plus one inch size seam allowance so that's one totals to nine ten eleven and three quarter so the measurements will be after this half an inch we are taking off because this is going off. So your measurement starts from here. So that is 9, 10, 11, and 3 quarter. So the back is done. So just the neckline remaining. Good. Now for the neckline, the neck width we made it 3 and half. Everything is after this one inch zipper allowance. Three and a half is here. Then for the depth, I'll just make it one and a half. First, I'll make the straight line. This is it. The next thing for the cords, we are going to divide the remaining. I have five just at the front, so two and a half, because they have to match at the shoulder line. So this is two and a half, the middle. And remember, we did four and a half for the front. So for the back, you could make it deeper if you want or not the same style. It just depends. So make it, maybe I should make it maybe four and a half still, or four and three quarter just the paint. The next thing is to take in half on both sides. If you don't want much, just do three quarter of an inch and you connect it. So I've just connected it as we did. So the next thing is to just add half an inch seam allowance to the shoulder region. So that is it. Just make this place straight, straight. Then now I will just cut it out. But remember, this has been affected. So at this point, just measure one inch now from here, because we have to take that off from here. So at this point where I join it, I'll measure one inch too. Now the zipper allowance. So the next thing is to cut out. So can you see how I'm cutting this? So this is now going off. So then I can cut the remaining. I've cut it all out. So this is what we have. So now I will go to my fabric and cut this all out as it is to cut the back all i did is to fold a fabric into two making sure it accommodates the length and the horizontal measurements so i'm cutting out for the front first before the back 
and there's a reason for that. Now, the dress length is 46 inches. So if I remove 19 from that, I should be left with uh, 27. Okay, so I will need half an inch at the upper part and the lower part to join to the lining, which is one inch. That will make it 28. So this is 28. It ends at this black part. So 28 inches is the length. And then for the width, it should accommodate the hip. Now, my waist to hip is 9 inches. Plus the half an inch at the upper part, it makes 9 and half. So that's why I have this line here. So I'm not going to have a dart for the skirt. All I have to do is to insert the 9 and 3 quarter for my waist. My waist is 39 divided by 4. That's 9 and 3 quarter. Plus 1 inch in my allowance, that will make it 10 and 3 quarter. I'm marking on the wrong side, so. Now for the hip, my hip is 48 divided by four will give me 12. Plus size seam allowance of one inch, that makes it 18. And then I can connect. So that is it. So before we connect the lower parts, so here are the upper part i'll come down by you can do between half to three quarter inch yes here that's because we actually differentiated the front from the back so we have to do this very well so once you do that first you make a straight line before curving it out that's going to be cut off That's going to be cut off now at the lower part. So, to make it tapered, I will just take off from these 13 inches, I'll take off one and a half or one and three quarter to make it tapered. So, if I take off one and a half, that will be left with 11 and half. So, 11 and half is here. I'm just going to connect it straight down. So that's it. So the next thing is to cut it out. So I've cut it all out. So the skirt is ready. So this is the front. So I will be using it to cut out the uh, lining. So this is it on the skirt. So now let's go to the back. This is the back. I also folded the same fabric and then I marked one in for the zipper allowance. So just listen attentively at this back. For the hip measurements, remember it's 12. 48 divided by 4, 12 plus one inside seam allowance, 13. That is after the zipper allowance. Just mark that. So now for the waist region. Remember for the back of the top, we went in at the back. So we are going to do the same thing here. So for this, you can do between three quarter to one inch, yes. Depending, some you can even do up to one and a half, trust me, because some people have bomb at the back. So for me, I'll just be doing three quarter of an inch, which is here. And I'm going to take that straight to the hip region. So now my waist measurement is nine and three quarter plus one inside seam allowance, 10 and three quarter. The measurement starts from here. 10 and three quarter. So now this is where the measurement is. And then I'll connect straight to that point. So you can see what I have. So now I will now have to correct this part for the seam allowance, just as we did for the top. So now from this new one, I'll measure one inch. This is one inch. At the part I join here, one inch, which is here, and then connect it. That's all. I 
diagnosis. So from here, this is what is going on. I hope that is well understood. You can see that. So now at the um, lower part here, it's going to have a slit. So I'm going to do the same thing here at the back. We are going to go in so I can just do one inch or three quarter at this part because of the bone. Okay. So if I do one inch here, so you come down from the hip line about three inches. Okay, so one inch, so yeah, it's going to be here. Okay, let me connect it first so that I won't confuse you. You know everything we are doing is after the same allowance. So now for the zipper allowance, I will now measure from here, which is one inch. You know, I took off one inch, which is the starting point. So the same allowance here now will be this part. I'm really taking my time so that you won't miss any step. And then I cut this off. So this is the back, the bum bum area. That is done. So now for the side, what I'm going to do is this. This is the actual straight line, okay? Before we went in by one inch. So we did 11 and a half at this lower part. So you can just do 12. So since we took one inch at the back here, you can just reduce this part by one inch. Since you have 13 here, you can just make it 12. That is from the initial one inch line so that it won't confuse you. it off so I cut this off that's the side this is the back so you can notch it so let me put this the bomb area so I will know that so this is the wrong side then another thing is this is the same allowance to confirm this is the lower part of the front put it on each other you can see they match leaving the one in same allowance so that is it on the dress I've cut out all the fabrics with the lining, so I'm going to show you one after the other. So this is the front. So I didn't cut out this on the pattern, that is because I might still want to use the pattern, I want to keep it intact. So I only cut out on the fabric. So this is what it looks like. Can you see? So also the lining, the same thing. Then. The other side, I cut out two, two. So this is what I'm going to have eventually. So the next step I'm going to do for the front is to pad it all. I'm going to use my wording. Okay. So I'll make sure I start the padding from the on the bust. I have a video on how to pad your bust in, which I will attach to the video and also in the description box. Okay. So for the back, I just cut out everything the same way. Then I make sure I notch the that point. If you have even transferred it, and then I also cut it out on the fabric. So this is what I have. So the next thing I'm going to do on the back is to take in all the darts. So I'm taking all the darts before I now move to the front. For the skirt, I cut out both the lining and the fabric. So this is what I have. So make sure the lining is one and a half inch shorter than the main fabric. That's because we want to have one inch on showing on the inside. So this selvage area will be my lining. Okay. So this is the back and this is the front. Okay. So now let's quickly go over to the sleeve. For the sleeve, I already have my sleeve pattern at home you don't know how to do that i'll put that in the description box below so all i did is to fold my fabric into four so you can see i have it one then two so i'm marking on the wrong side so i'm just going to place it on it and pin it down it is a puff sleeve i will be making all i'll do now is to extend it at the upper part so you can do between three inches to four Okay, depending on how puffy you want it to be. So let me just do about three or 
or three and a half, okay? So this is it. And all you have to do is to target this midpoint and just freely create the line this way. So that is all on how to create your false leaf and I'll cut it all out. False leaf looks like, okay? Now for the design, I want to have here because I want to make like a drawstring here. So all I'm going to do now is to come up by three inches. Three inches or three and a half, but I'm working with three inches. And then I'll go in by one and a half, depending on how wide you want it to be. But you don't want it too wide. And then you make like a curve. So it depends. I'm going to use this to cut out the lining exactly the same way so this is what our sleeve looks like i have part the uh top and this is what it looks like so all i did is to make sure i start from the under bust that is very very vital so here it has to start from the under bust and then the measurement is about nine in um, eight inches as you can see that then you just curve it and on the side five inches can we see five inches then you just curve it out so what i'll do now is to join it and sew it up and also the lining i have joined the uh panels together and this is what it looks like so this is the top that is the front you can see how the busty really came out can we see that so that is how it looks so just make sure you iron it so well so the next thing i'm going to do now is to place the lining so i've joined the lining too so you can see how everything just matches so well so what i'm going to do next is to go to the sewing machine sew in half or quarter inch all round then coming to the shoulder region leave this part open just sew in the v just come this way and back up do not hem these upper parts so the same thing to this side you sew in the v so that's what i'm going to do next here and this is the back too i've sewn in the dots okay so the next thing i'm also going to do here is make sure you place right side facing each other you are sewing on the wrong side. just sew in quarter or half an inch at the neckline then you sew in the v now i've sewn it and i've brought it out that is the front panel as you can see that and i've given it a good press so on the wrong side this is how neat it looks like okay so the next thing you are going to do now is also the back i've done the same thing the v and the neckline so don't bring this out on the wrong side yet because we want to finish everything up so what you are now going to do now is to put this now this is the wrong side so just put it in between and then you are going to put in this um open part you are going to put it inside here so how do you know it you see that the uh, main fabric is hop hop and then this is the hammer area of the top the hammer area of the back so you don't make mistakes so i'm going to put it inside and make sure it matches so i'll put it inside and then pin it up so you can see that's the same thing here. So I'll do the same thing for the other side. I've sewn half an inch on both sides. All you have to do is to bring it out, the lining under, and then you pull out. And you see how easy that is. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to just give it a good press. So the next thing I'll just do is to make sure right side are facing each other this way. And then first I'm going to sew the side of the top the main fabric together alone first then this also goes here so after the main fabric has been joined then i will take the lining to this other way on the wrong side and i'll sew it all down so this is the skirt the uh, front panel what i will do is to make sure right side are facing each other remember the lining is shorter so we have to make it equal so i'm just going to join it half an inch together and then pull it up to give it a good press so now let me show you the back this is the back 
So what I'm going to do before opening it up is where the slit is going to stop and where the zipper is going to stop. So I'm just going to fold this upper part and then for the slit, you can just measure seven inches upward for your slit, depending on your preference, please. Or from the upper part, you just measure between 20 inches to 21. So this is where my zipper um, slit is going to stop. So I'm going to notch that point on the back. This is the side. Then for the zipper, I'll just measure nine inches and stop at that point. So I'm going to notch those two parts. What I'm now going to do is this, the um, lining are together now on the wrong side. I'm just going to sew from the point where the zipper will stop to the slit. I'm just going to sew in the one inch. Then the main fabric too, I will just match up the uh, notch here to the notches and then sew in one inch. And then I can turn it with the lining as I explained the other time. I have sewn the side of the top and this is what it looks like you can see on the inside this is what it looks like you can see the side has been sewn so the top is ready so the next thing is the skirt so for the front so what I did is to just pin it up to match it before I now high on it down can you see so we now have the one inch below so that's how i did the front panel so the back panel so what i did is to also hop the points at which the zipper will stop and then the um slits so i saw it for the lining and also for the main fabric after that the dino hem the lower parts to have the one inch there so how do we now sew up the slits all you have to do is to come from this side, so just bring it all out. So you already know where the fold is. So this is the fold. So I'm just going to fold out from that to the wrong side. And then trace the seam allowance. Can you see? Then the notch will match the notch on the lining and the notch on the main fabric. Then you can sew in. The one inch straight down so the where the seam stops you just continue from there straight to close the slit so once you close this side you break it on the other side then you come to this other one to just bring it out from here since you now know where the crease is and then you match the same allowance together then you sew it up so guys i am done with the slit and this is how beautiful the slit looks like and you see that so that is what the slit looks like so now let's quickly drape on the front panel so we are only draping on the um, main fabric itself and not the lining so the first thing i did is to cut out some fabric or just the fabric rather so it is just i just used the uh, width of the ankara fabric which is 45 or 46 so here i have a length of 46 then the, um, the width is 20 inches. I cut out 46 by 20 inches. I then hem the side. So I hem the side and I also hem this side. So what are we going to be doing now is from the side here, we are just going to measure about five inches downward at this point. Okay, that's where the fabric is going to stop and you can measure that about 10 inches depending on your preference or not even up to that. So between 8 and 10, okay? So you measure from the 5 inches point. So you are dripping from here to here. So there are two ways you can do that. You know I told you I cut out 46. So you can just cut out exactly what you have here. Then you sew it in and then you just... Um, just rough it up to the side then there's another method like the one i want to do you just pleat randomly and when you are pleating make sure it is diagonal because we want all this side to come to the uh, side so it will be easier rather than just having it straight then it will look all roughed up which you don't want so you have to pick it up diagonally so you can just start at this point and then just you know pleat it randomly and then let it hang here so you can just have like three pleats so 
this is it. Okay. Two. Then three. Let me see. So I've tried to pleat it up randomly. Let me see. So it doesn't mean it has to be perfect. So what I will do now is to now trim it up. So this is the curve. I can now trim it up. So this is what I have. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine now. Remember we left one inch, same allowance. So I'm just going to sew half an inch just to secure down this wrap before we now join everything together. I have sewn this down. You can see I've secured that. So the next thing is for us to join all the skirt together, both front and back. So what I will do now is to place the back on it, right side facing each other. So once you make it face each other now, so what you are going to do now is this, it's very easy. All you have to do, take the main fabric, match it up, right side is facing each other. So pin it down at that point. So you're just going to sew the main fabric and you see the way I'm going, just keep going, keep going. So you keep sewing till you get to where the lining joins it. Then you keep sewing till you sew all the lining, okay? Once you finish that, you come to this side too. You start sewing the main fabric straight, straight, straight till you get to the lining and then you sew it all down and then you bring it all out. I've joined it all together and this is how beautiful the skirt looks like. Can you see? So the next thing we are going to do now is to join it to the upper part. So this is the back. So this is the zipper region. So the next thing we are going to do now is to join the top to the skirt. So what does that mean? You join the main fabric to the main fabric of the skirt and then the lining to the lining, leaving open the zipper region. So I've joined the upper part to the lower part. So this is the drape on it. So I just high on it, although it is still hanging okay so the next thing we are going to do now is to fix the zipper let me show you the back so i'll be fixing the zipper to only the main fabric okay that will be easier for you so once i finish fixing then i fix on the other side too after that i'll now show you how to finish up the lining from the inside i fix the zipper and you can see how neat that is but we still have the lining open on the inside okay so i'm going to turn on the inside because you are going to bring it out through the ample to fix the lining okay let me turn to the wrong side it's on the wrong side and this is what it looks like so what do you want to do now so this is it you want the lining to be inside this way so that it is being attached to this point okay so you are now going to come in from the handhold here because that's the place we have open because you don't want to open anywhere else so let me use this side so just come through the handhold that is here then you bring it in this way so once you bring it in you understand more then it's open just close up the lining with the seam allowance of the zipper, pin it down. Can you see? So that is how you are just going to trace it all out. So you can bring everything out from here gently. Once you've brought everything out, since you've pinned what you want to do, so just keep tracing it. You can see, you keep tracing it. This is the end of the zipper. And then this is the end of the lining. Then you match it up. So there's no big deal having a full closure on your outfit. So you just sew it to the end. And that is all. Okay? So once you fix this, take it back to the right side. The same procedure I use, use it on the other side. And you see that it is very easy. So now I'm going to the sleeve. For the sleeve, this is what we want to have. Can you see? This is what we want to have for the sleeve. It is a puff sleeve, okay? So what do you do? Just get the sleeve we cut out. Make sure right side is facing right side of the lining and listen attentively. So what you now want to do is just so quarter of an inch from the beginning here all to the other side. Then you notch. Once you've done that, 
from that seam here, leave half an inch. From where you sew, leave half an inch and sew your seam allowance straight down. I left three quarter inch. I finished hemming the lining and everything looks so beautiful. So looking at this, can you see how perfectly that looks? So all I did was to bring it out from the armhole region. Then you will see her fix one of the sleeve. You can see how beautiful it is. So the one I have just, I used to show you. So now let's finish up the sleeve. Right now I've sewn it all down and then I left half an inch here, half an inch and so the three inches, uh, three quarter of an inch similar ones. Then here I have um, bias strip fabric. So I used five bias strip to make this rope. All I did is to just fold it into two and then sew it straight down. Also for these, which I'll be using to finish up the rope at the end, is just a fabric, small fabric. I just folded that into two. Then I'm just gonna sew hit the sides, then bring it out on the outside to have this. Then the next thing will be just to fold in half an inch inward. So I'll fold in half an inch inward, which I'll put this strip inside and then sew it. So that's how I achieve that. Now, how do I do? Before I turn this, I'm just going to put this rope inside that half an inch seam allowance we left. So I'm just going to bring it out. So... Then I'll come to this side and bring this one out on this very one. So I'm going to put this in the other side too and bring it out on here. Okay, so now I can now turn the, the sleeve with the lining to the right side. On the right side, just pull it. Okay, so once you pull it to the end, so you can now give it a good press. Make sure you iron it to stay flat. Then the next thing will now be to sew in like half an inch from the beginning to the end together with the lining. Right now I've sewn the half an inch. So this is what it looks like on the wrong side. And you can see the strip I've added the Ankara fabric to it. So the last thing we are just going to do now is to... Take both ends, so you are sewing on the wrong side, half a uh, one inch that we left all through to the lining, then you can bring it out, it will be folded. Then the next thing will now be for you to now um, run a um, garden stitch from somewhere here to here, all through, just a uh, quarter of an inch, and then gather it all before attaching to your dress. The dress is finally ready and you can see how beautiful everything came out, okay? This is the drape. You can just tack it down there or make a loop and then you just put it inside the loop so it falls on its own, however you like it. So this tutorial has been helpful and then I'm going to put it on and show you how it looks on me. So this is it. The dress is ready and you can see how beautiful it looks like. The princess that is on point, the draping is on point, the fitting is on point. <laughs> so I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If it has, please give me a giant thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Blakey Signatures, and on Facebook, Sewing Innovations and Blakey Signatures. I remain your girl, Blakey. Bye, guys. <laughs>